Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 9.3 Beta 4. This is the fourth beta, and it brings a couple different bug fixes and is available for developers over the air in about 124 megabytes, or at least that's what it was on my iPhone 6S Plus. Let's check out the version number. You can see here it's 13E5214D. And this particular version brings just two physical changes that we can see in a couple different bug fixes that are in the background that aren't really relevant as far as what you can see as far as changes go. Now, the actual 9.3 beta, if you're not aware from seeing the other videos I've done, or if you're not aware of the new features, one of those is Night Shift. And Night Shift takes the blue light out of the screen and, it, and it's supposed to help you be able to sleep a little bit better. They've actually changed the icon. So here's the new icon down here. This one makes a little more sense than the previous one. The previous one was an eye, and I'll show it to you right here. And if we hit this, you'll see you can just turn it on for now and you'll see the screen change. So let me hit turn it on for now and the screen becomes a little bit more yellow instead of being more blue. And if I turn it off, it will turn off. We'll turn it off until tomorrow and there it becomes more blue and it looks more natural here, but it also helps you stay awake, I guess, as far as that's concerned. Now with iOS 9.3, you do get quick settings under settings if you've got 3D touch on your iPhone. And one of the other changes they've made has to do with music. Now I don't have Apple Music, so I don't actually see it, but there is a star icon that actually appears here under Apple Music uh, for you to actually pick or star it next to the track number. So that's available if you have Apple Music and you're on this beta. Now again, it's only available to developers and it's an over the air download or you can go to the developer center and download it. Now, if you've found anything else, if you're using this beta, it'll probably be available to public beta testers pretty soon. But if you're using this beta and you found anything other than those two things, let us know in the comments below. Those are pretty insignificant changes, that little icon there and nothing else, and pretty much just a little star next to everything else in music. Otherwise, that's it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.